Okay, so this is number 50, Fraxinus pensylvanica. I just talked about the terminal leaflet in Fraxinus pensylvanica as compared to Fraxinus latifolia, so we won't talk much more about the morphology. Many of the same characteristics uh, as far as the uh, flowers, uh, leaf structure, uh, leaf arrangement, so on. One thing that I didn't mention in relation to Fraxinus latifolia or pensylvanica is that both of these are susceptible to emerald ash borer. In fact, all of the uh, species native to North America are susceptible to emerald ash borer and has been wreaking havoc. So if you're on the eastern uh, part of the United States or into the upper Midwest, uh, you will see that, that, that uh, many ash are being taken out, they're, they're dying, and they're having to be destroyed on site. So we're trying to limit the uh, spread of emerald ash borer, which has been uh, huge. As with many other um, sort of catastrophic uh, invasions with other insects or diseases, um, there is breeding that's being done in, in trying to integrate the resistance from uh, Asian species into our native uh, North American species. So anyway, that's my, my ramblings on uh, emerald ash borer, uh, but this is uh, Fraxinus pensylvanica.